You know, another big deal in this comic business was going up uh, to meet Frank Frazetta, which a lot of people make that pilgrimage, you know. And um, I certainly set out to learn from him and figure out his chops and stuff like that. And uh, one year, 2006 or 8, 6 maybe, I think it was 6, went to the Chiller Theater Convention in New Jersey. And uh, Zachary was there. I took my band up there. Uh, Glenn Burtnick uh, played bass for me, uh, doing the monster songs at Chiller Theater. And uh, he he was he's a big time guy. He's doing musicals and stuff now. I played with Sticks for a while. <laughs> Chiller Theater was a lot of fun. Frank Frazetta Jr. was there, talked to him a bit, and he said, oh yeah, you know, you should come out to the house tonight. Dan Morton was with us too, and um, Paul Russack, uh, Zachary's friend. And um, But anyway, just Dan, Dan and I and my wife uh, and kids wound up going out there, and uh, you know, it's like you meet your God or whatever, and walked into uh, Frank Jr.'s house, and uh, walked in the back, and there's Rosetta sitting there, you know, a good bit older than in the pictures and stuff, you know. And he had a whole bunch of crap on the coffee table that Frazetta Jr. had brought, you know, people handing him stuff. So, give this to your dad, I guess, you know. And I had done this Chiller Theater sketchbook, and he was actually holding that, looking at it. And uh, then we went in the kitchen, and um, he pulled out one of his recent books, Color hardbacks and uh, that's when all those were coming out for the first time and we sat around and looked at that and I pointed out you know pieces that I particularly liked and stuff like that he wasn't very vocal because he had had the strokes and stuff but uh you know and he asked my friend Dan Morton you know about his artwork and Dan was back like shit in his pants and stuff and we were I was laughing at that and um you know, but um, he was nice. He 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 understood. He un he understood where I was coming from. He understood, you know, the drive, the ego. So when then it was time for him to go to the hospital. To have so yeah, he um, we walked out and into the sunshine and everything. And he was still carrying that chiller sketchbook, and uh, stood out there and waited for the car and stuff. Um, he never talked that much. I understand why, but it was a nice place, nice time, and um, we still chat occasionally.